Hi guys, it's the next day again. As you can see, uh, building a garden is not that easy that you can do in one day, especially because the size of our garden is huge. So we decided to plant a little more. And my question is to Daniel, why do you need to buy another 12 chili pepper plants? Why do you need that many chili pepper plants? Well, I want to make like <laughs> hot sauce. I made some hot sauce out of uh, the chilies that I had last year. Um, I, I, I pickled them and then I made hot sauce out of them and I've loved the hot sauce. Uh, especially the ones made with the uh, Carolina Reaper. It's extremely hot. And I don't know if you guys know this about me already. Uh, I posted a video on my Facebook not too long ago of trying one of those Carolina Reapers. <laughs> uh, but I love spicy food and spicy chilies and everything related to chili peppers. So I want to try making uh, different hot sauces of all these various different types of chilies and just see find which ones I like better. Last year I found out I really liked the Tabasco peppers, uh, those Carolina Reapers, and there was ones that I got called the Apocalypse Scorpion, which are supposed to be really, really, really hot, and they were. Uh, so I'll be posting, once once we get some harvest out of these, I'll post some videos and stuff of me trying them and you can see my reactions to them. I think I'm gonna go ahead and the put the heats. video of last year so everybody can see it. But I am like, <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand it's why. <laughs> it's like a, it's here, a hobby. This is a Carolina <laughs> cayenne. Uh, I really like the cayenne. I like it dried and with, um, and uh, in powder, I can put it on my pasta. This other one here, I've never tried before. It's, it's called a Korean dark green. We'll see what it looks. We'll see what it looks like. I don't even know what the chili pepper looks like. I haven't had a chance to Google them. I just. The yeah, but the cayenne nice. pepper is really tiny. We we couldn't. That, that was the last one we could find in the in the nursery, and uh, we got all these varieties. Those are like the 12 types of peppers. Plus the ones we have over there, which I think we're gonna have close to 20 chili pepper plants. So I wanna see you eating all. Cause I don't think you're gonna be able to eat all of them. I will, I'll, I'll turn them into hot sauce that will then I can have for the rest of the year. It's Jamaican, a Jamaican Scotch, Scotch bun. bunny. I'm familiar with one just called a Scotch Bonnet. I don't know about the Jamaican Scotch Bonnet, but the regular old-fashioned Scotch Bonnet is pretty hot. They, the tag says all of them are hot. I'm just going by what, like the uh, the Schofield units. That, uh, the Scotch Bonnet is a, it's a, <laughs> it's a real contender. It's a, you know, it's not to be. It's not for the faint of heart. From what I've understand, I've not. I think those peppers are for. I've only had the hot sauces made with Scotch bonnet. Those sauce, those chili peppers are for brave people. I'm not brave at all. Yes, these are not for beginners. No, no. I, I I was never. This is the thing. He was raised in a Mexican culture because of his mother, and so he's used to eat chili. Well, but you see, the thing is, is that these really, hot, these these hot, really, really hot varieties, I don't think are really that, uh, with the exception of the habanero, they're really not that common in Mexican cuisine. They use, Mexican cuisine uses more jalapenos, serranos, uh, poblano. Uh, there's there's those type, which they have other varieties that are pretty hot, um, like the uh, piquín, the te Jalapeno can back to be pretty hot. The uh, habanero is very hot. But some of these other varieties, like the Carolina Reaper, the uh, what do you call, uh, scorpion. Yeah, they, they have an apocalypse scorpion or Trinidad scorpion, which are really, really hot. Those aren't really common. In, uh, and I think that's just because they're more of like a hybrid pepper that they've made just for the sake of making them hot. Did we get the uh, apocalypse scorpion again this year? Uh, yes, I think it's over, it's over there. Oh, okay. I remember. Planted. Which one was the one that you like filmed that was so hot? That was the Apocalypse Scorpion and then also the uh, Carolina Reaper. I think I tried both of them in that video. Okay. Um, and I don't have anything this year that's going to be hotter than that. I think the Carolina Reaper is still the, the number one hottest that you can get. Uh, I've heard that there's another one 
that is hotter, but it's not really, a, you can't really buy it yet, like at nurseries. So I haven't had a chance to try that yet. So tell me, what is the fun about having tried the chilies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it's a uh, <laughs> part of our male bravado. <laughs> okay. All right, well, it's not raining anymore, so we came back outside and the kids are sleeping. So we're just going to try to plant everything and we'll show you glimpses of us planting right now from now on. So it's not super boring for you guys. <laughs> It started raining outside a little bit, so we came inside and then he's actually making a sign for our little business that we have. It's a uh, egg farm that we are, we have since last year. Uh, as you guys, you could see the last video, I'll post the video here if you want to see it, that we, uh, Daniel built a, uh, Daniel built a chicken coop and we bought 25 chickens. We currently have 20 chickens and we have been producing eggs like crazy. And so we are having, um, we have to sell some of the eggs for local people and uh, people that we know in church or friends and family. But they are so much that uh, we decided to make that little sign of business. So maybe other neighbors and people that haven't seen anything uh, need eggs they can buy from us. So we have a machine and so then look what he's doing it says Bobo farm free range eggs so we bought that in a hobby lobby and so he's gonna put there over there and uh, we'll see the final product and then when the rain is done we're gonna continue planting the the little plants we have